here we have a simple background node with a two color horizontal gradient and the values are 0.2 and 0.5 okay so if I turn on this sub view and also turn on color inspector let me fit that okay so you can see here the values RGB at the left corner we have 0.2 and the right we have 0.5 Okay, so let me go ahead and add this auto gain tool and preview it here. Let me fit that. Also turn on color inspector for this view as well. Okay, so this auto gain tool is used to automatically adjust the color range of an image so that the darkest and the brightest pixels are set to user selected values. And we set these values using this range slider here. Okay, so by default, the darkest pixels in image. Uh, in the image are pushed down to black and the brightest pixels are pushed uh, towards white and all the pixels in between are are scale or stretched to cover the color range evenly that we define here okay and this auto gain tool is very useful uh, when compensating for variation in uh, variations in lighting dealing with low contrast images and viewing full uh, color range of float images okay so if i go ahead and uh, set this range the low range to say point uh, 4 or point 3 okay and this high range to point 7 now what will happen that the the brightest pixels are now pushed down to point 7 as you can see here now here it was uh, point 4 now it's point 7 okay likewise uh, the darkest pixels will be pushed towards point 3 here we have darkest pixels range was 0.2 the RGB values and now here after adding this auto gain tool to flow to this background node now we have RGB values RGB value of 0.3 so we have remapped the values okay we have one additional button here do G what it does that it, it uh, um, let me go ahead and first and open the footage or the comp auto gain V to start here I have a simple setup I have this uh, piece of footage and its luminous depth pass. I have gone ahead and added a challenge boolean tool and mapped the, these luminous value of this uh, luminous depth pass, the lightness values to generate the G channel. For that, just uh, change RGBA to do nothing, operation to copy, switch to auxiliary channels, enable extra channels, and then to G buffer lightness foreground. Okay, so if you have a look at G depth, maybe you that. Now we have G channel here thanks to this luminous depth pass and channel boolean tool. So if I go ahead and just apply auto gain okay so you get instantly you get that auto gain. So by default when you when you uh, when you when you don't change any values the darkest pixel uh, in this image are pushed towards black and the the brightest pixels towards white that's why we get this uh, gain effect here okay but if you're having do G then and by the way, this uh, this is an alternative for this uh, sh uh, show normalized image. If you preview this channel boolean and click on this, then in the viewport, Fusion will go ahead and remap the values between 0 to 1. Okay, so it's just for this viewport. If you want to get this effect through a tool, you have to apply this auto gain here. So this channel boolean, switch this off, channel boolean output, auto gains output. But if you're having G channel, like we have here, G channel, and then you enable this button do G okay so select this turn this on to apply the auto gain effect to the G channel only as you can see here it's now affecting the G channel okay so this is very useful for matching the range of one uh, images of G channel to another alright so very powerful do G so this is about auto gain tool